What's going on guys? Thanks for coming by. I have a quick tip for you guys today. I get a lot of messages asking about just how to set up Crossfire, the CRSF protocol, and get all of that working with Betaflight, with telemetry, so that all of the goodness of Betaflight uh, plays nice with all of the goodness of Crossfire. So I have a fresh build right here. I haven't even like mounted the receiver. It's just kind of in there flopping around. It's got a little bit of work left to do, but I'm at the point where I'm basically getting it fully programmed. Actually, all it's got left to do is mount that receiver. I just haven't done it yet because I need to bind it. And we're going to walk you through that process right now. So let's dive right in. The first thing that I want to show you is I want to show you just how I have the Crossfire receiver wired into the flight controller. Now I am using the Betaflight F4 board along with the Betaflight 32-bit ESCs. Now this should work with most flight controllers, but it's going to be imperative that you set up your ports right and that you don't have any kind of conflicts with your ports. So I'm going to talk to you about some of the considerations that I had with this build and, uh, and some of that will pertain to you. So let's take a look. Don't judge my soldering skills. I know. All right. What you're gonna see is, you notice I have three wires going to each of the ESCs. That is because I am using ESC telemetry. And on the Betaflight F4 board, ESC telemetry is uh, on RX1. So UR1 right here at the bottom left, that is not gonna be something that I can use because I've already used up that uh, UART for the ESC telemetry. We have my camera coming up here to the five volt video uh, in and the this is going to go to an IRC tramp which ha is wired into the ground here and the easiest spot because I didn't wire it up before I mounted the board this is the ESC pad over there so it's gone straight to the battery the um, video out comes to this guy and then uh, we have the telemetry connected to UART, I believe that's three over here, yep, to UART three TX. So the only thing left is the crossfire receiver, which is what we are here to talk about. Now, as you notice, I've not got all of the wires used. We only need four of these guys. We got the ground going all the way up here to ground. You can see ground goes up to the far right. That is ground. Then we have five volt, which is the next wire over, goes all the way up to the five volt. Now on this one, it just so happens that channel one, which we are gonna program in the Crossfire in just a minute, is out is gonna be the CRSF output is going to the RX on the UART, which is the third one over. And then the fourth one over, which is the TX on the UART, is going to channel two, which is gonna be the CRSF, um, CRSF telemetry. So that is going to give us the telemetry back to the receiver. Now, uh, the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna have to bind the radio and the, uh, the Crossfire micro receiver. Now, I've got my Crossfire on and set up. If you can see that, it's just on uh, 10 milliwatts because we're doing all this really close to each other. Don't wanna fry your receiver. What we're gonna do is we're gonna power up the quad and we're gonna click the bind button on the receiver. Now on Crossfire receivers, you don't have to hold down the bind button while you're powering it up. You can actually power up the quad and then just click the bind afterwards. So this guy is almost ready. You go a long press on the button and there's a menu. Now, third one down. Yep, third one down is bind. I'm just gonna click that. And now the Crossfire is ready to bind with the receiver. So I have a battery. And I can even do this one-handed and hold the camera. Plug it in. We got some really bright BL Heli 32 ESCs that are fancy colors. And you can see we got a red light on the receiver because it is not bound. Now this is the handy thing. We just click the bind button once. Clicky clicky. And look, we have bound. Now, the transmitter says binding complete. I'm slightly baffled and befuddled. Normally at this stage, it would update the receiver, but for some reason, it's not necessary this time. I guess this, this must just be a newer receiver that's got the current firmware that I'm running on here. Okay, next step is we're gonna make sure that the receiver is outputting to the uh, 
flight controller what we want it to output. So we're going to go back in here to the button stuff. Now, if you don't have the Crossfire module that I have, if you have the micro module and you're doing this in the Lua scripts, it's going to be fairly similar uh, menu structure. You're just going to be doing it on the radio screen itself. All right. So what I'm going to do here is go long press. Now we're going to go down here to RX micro V2. Click that. We have output map. That is what we want to select. Select output map. In your outputs, you're going to want to ensure that on output one, you have CRSF TX, and on output two, you have CRSF RX. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to send your stick inputs on over to the receiver, and on channel one on CRSF protocol, and on channel two of the receiver, it is going to receive telemetry. So, we're going to, I'm going to show you just how to set that up in beta flight in a second. Uh, on the channel mapping here, we have destination channel on the left, source channel on the right, and those auto line up right with what your radio is outputting. Uh, and then I like on channel 8, which will be aux 4 in the settings, I'm going to show you how to set this up later, to do RSSI slash link quality. And what that's going to do is based it's going to output the value of whichever one is lower. So if you have a low link quality and RSSS is fine, it'll output the link quality. If you have a low RSSI, but link quality is high, then it'll output the RSSI value. That way the flight controller uh, is going to think it's receiving RSSI on that channel and output it to the OSD for me, but I'm going to get an idea of the overall health of the receiver connection. And then the only other things that we need to be worried about here, uh, I run it in uh, eight channel mode and uh, the, what is that one? Yep, telemetry is on, fail safe is set to cut and that is all that you need to do on the module itself. Everything coming from the module should be good now. All right, so let's go and I will show you in beta flight just what we're gonna do. Okay, I got my computer out now and Betaflight up and running. We're gonna connect to the computer and I'm gonna show you the settings that you're gonna need to have set up in Betaflight to have um, Crossfire properly working. Now remember, I told you that you have to make sure that your ports are set up properly. So we're gonna go over to the ports tab and um, my ports are set up so that on UART1, I have ESC telemetry on the sensor input. Uh, on UART2, that is going to be my crossfire. I have serial receiver selected. You're going to notice that on UART2, I have not selected a telemetry output option. Uh, and if you click that drop down, there's no CRSF option. So uh, the reason for this is when you select CRSF as the protocol, which we're going to do on the configuration tab, the uh, beta flight automatically assumes that uh, telemetry is hooked up on the same UART. So by selecting serial receiver here on the ports page and then coming over to configuration and under the uh, receiver info we have serial uh, based receiver and I've selected the CRSF protocol. So now Betaflight is going to be assuming that the crossfire is connected on both the TX and RX of the UART in order to get the receiver input and the telemetry input. So now we're just going to make sure that everything here is working because uh, if you've done all of these steps then Crossfire should just be working with you. So I'm going to fire up my radio, come over here to the receiver tab. I got a green light on the receiver and in the receiver tab, roll, pitch, yaw, throttle, arming, yay, and then, okay. As you can see, everything here is working yay that's going to be all that you have to do uh we're outputting only eight channels to the radio from the radio to the receiver to the flight controller um everything is working i should be able to arm it and fly it uh i actually did a little test when you guys weren't looking and it was arming before i even connected it to beta flight because i'd already configured it because i knew what i was setting up but those are the things that you got to do you got to wire it directly to one uart both the TX and the RX. Transmit from the receiver connects to the receiving end on the flight controller and the TX on the flight controller connects to the receiving end on the receiver. That's one thing that some people get hung up on is that the receiver is programmed to transmit 
on channel one, so you'd think that you'd connect that wire to the TX on the flight controller. That's not what you want to do because that TX, the transmit from, it's like a pitch and catch. So the receiver is pitching on its TX and you want to connect that to the receiving or the catching on the flight controller. So the TX from the receiver goes to the RX of the flight controller and the TX on the flight controller comes to the RX on the receiver. Does that make sense? I know it's so confusing. TX, RX, receiver, transmitter, uh, okay, but I think that you guys have it now. So once you got that wired and you've selected the ports properly and you've told it that you're using the CRSF protocol and a serial based receiver, everything should just work. Sometimes there's a little bit of an issue over here on the channel mapping option um, and you just need to make sure that the your radio could be set up differently than mine. I've got mine so that it's T-A-E-R but that's something that can be set in the radio and that's a whole nother video. Um, it doesn't matter. If your channel output is a different mapping, just change those around, experiment. It might be, you might need to select the FR Sky or the Spectrum, um, and you'll, but you'll, you'll figure it out. It's pretty simple. Hope that helps guys. If this was a help, please click that like button, subscribe, come back, check out more content. I have links to all sorts of cool things in the description. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks and bye.